Welcome to Lavanya's computer classes. In this video, I will give important questions in semantic web. That is for R18 BTEC 4th year 2nd sem. Unit wise important questions. First unit 1, the important questions, short answer questions are, what is the semantic web? How does the semantic web differ from the traditional web? What is the role of XML in the semantic web? Define metadata with respect to semantic web. Mention two benefits of semantic web in business. What is meant by machine readable data? Explain the term enterprise in the context of XML. Name any two semantic web technologies. What is the business case for the semantic web? What is the impact of XML on data integration? The long answer questions are, Explain the concept of the semantic web and its significance. Discuss the business case for the semantic web in modern enterprises. Describe the impact of XML on enterprise data management. Differentiate between the traditional web and the semantic web. Explain how metadata improves information retrieval on the web. Describe the role of ontologies in the semantic web. Elaborate on the structure and purpose of XML. How does the semantic web enhance decision making in organizations? Explain the challenges in implementing semantic web in enterprises. Discuss future trends in semantic web technologies. The unit to short answers are the unit to total and web services. The short answer questions are what are web services? Define SOAP. What is UDDI? What does it mean to um, orchestrate web services? What is the purpose of securing web services? List any two uses of web services. What is meant by grid enabled web services? Define semantic web services. Explain the need for interoperability in web services. Name any two protocols used in web services. The long answer questions are, Explain the basic architecture of web services. Describe SOAP and its role in web services. What is UDDI and how does it facilitate service discovery? Discuss the importance of security in web services. Compare traditional web services and semantic web services. Explain the concept of orchestration in web services. How do grid enabled services contribute to semantic web? Describe the role of XML in web services. Discuss the benefits and limitations of web services. Elaborate on semantic web services with real world applications. The unit 3 short answer questions are What is RDF? Define triple in RDF. Mention two features of RDF. What is the use of XPath? Name any two styled sheet languages used in XML. What is XSLT? Define X-Link and X-Pointer. What is X-Include used for? What is XML base? Differentiate between XML and XHTML. Long answer questions are, explain the structure and components of RDF. Discuss how RDF captures knowledge. Describe the use of XPath with an example. Compare XSLT and XQuery. What is the role of XSLFO in XML document formatting? Describe the integration of various XML technologies. Seventh one is explain the function of XLink, XPointer and XInclude. Discuss the relevance of SVZ in web applications. Describe the difference between XML base and XML. Explain how XHTML differs from traditional HTML. The unit 5 concepts are taxonomies and ontologies. In this short answer questions are what is taxonomy? Define ontology in the context of the semantic web. What is a topic map? Mention the components of ontology. What is the ontology spectrum? Define pragmatics in ontologies. What is the role of semantics in ontology? Differentiate between syntax and semantics. Define knowledge representation. What is the use of logical expression in ontology? The long answer questions are, explain the concept and the need for taxonomies in semantic web. Describe the ontology spectrum with examples. Discuss the structure and semantics of ontologies. 
explain topic maps and their relevance elaborate on syntax semantics and pragmatics in ontology how is knowledge represented in semantic web compare taxonomies and ontologies describe methods of expressing ontologies logically discuss the use of ontologies in ai and semantic web explain the significance of well structured ontologies the last unit fifth unit concepts are semantic web applications and search technology the short answer questions are what are semantic web services define e learning in the context of the semantic web what is uh, semantic bioinformatics define knowledge base what is semantic search what are web search agents mention any two semantic search engines define tap what is uh, swagal what is uh, latent semantic indexing discuss various applications of semantic web explain the role of semantic web in e learning systems describe semantic bioinformatics with examples what is enterprise application integration in semantic web explain the concept and uh, importance of knowledge bases compare traditional and semantic search engines what is latent semantic indexing and how does it work discuss the working of semantic search technologies describe the role of web search agents in the semantic web explain the functions of tap and swagal in the semantic web so these are the some important questions in uh, semantic webs read all the question then we get good score thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe my channel